Hey guys, welcome to Bootstrap 4 from scratch with five projects. In this course, we're going to go through just about every feature of the latest version of Bootstrap 4, and we're going to build some high quality projects using the framework. Now, this course was crafted to be perfect for absolutely anybody, whether you know nothing about the framework, whether you know Bootstrap 3, or even if you do know Bootstrap 4 and you just want to build some high quality projects and themes. There's absolutely something in this course for everybody. And it's a 10 hour course, so it's packed with information. Now, one thing I want to mention is that I, had, I initially created this course using Bootstrap for Alpha 6, which was the version that it was in for a very long time. Well, about three days after I released the course, version 4 beta was released, which had some class changes, some dependency changes, and so on. So I got right to work and recreated the entire course. I redid about 90% of the lectures. I haven't seen any other Bootstrap 4 course at this time that is using the latest version. They're all still in some version of Alpha. So this, in this course, you're going to learn the absolute latest version that is currently live on GetBootstrap.com. So real quick, a little bit about myself. My name is Brad Traversy. I'm a full stack developer. I've been doing it for around 12 years or so. I've been teaching for almost five now. Uh, I specialize in front end and back end development using JavaScript, PHP, Rails, a little bit of Python. I also run a really popular YouTube channel called Traversy Media, which you may want to check out as well. OK, we have a lot of crash courses and mini projects and stuff like that. So before taking this course, you should know basic HTML and CSS, maybe a little bit of JavaScript. Most of the JavaScript is going to be when we create our uh, gulp tasks and we create our workflow for, for building our projects. Um, but you don't need to know a lot of JavaScript to be able to follow along. Um, knowing Bootstrap 3 is definitely a help, but it's not needed. OK, this is this is a from scratch course. All right, so we have 11 sections in this course with five to 10 lectures per section. The first five sections are going to be basic learning sections, uh, you know, looking at the framework and looking at utilities and, and CSS components, things like that. We're going to be using something called the Bootstrap Sandbox. And then the rest are going to be project based sections. All right. And all the code will be included. So like I said, we're going to be using a custom learning UI that I built completely in HTML. Uh, there's going to be a file for every learning section. So for instance, forms, which you're seeing here on the right, there's going to be a start state. And then as we move along each video, you'll follow along and we'll add the bootstrap markup. Um, you can code along with me. I did shorten um, the typing of useless HTML so that, you know, you guys don't have to just watch me type out HTML. We can focus on the bootstrap syntax. Uh, this is also going to be an excellent resource for you to go back and look stuff up, um, kind of like a, a cheat sheet. I've actually already used it myself a bunch of times while creating the projects. All right, so let's take a quick look at the five projects in this course. So the first is going to be a one page theme called Loop Lab, which is kind of like a social media type theme. It uses the grid system as well as the new Flexbox classes. And you can see it's it's responsive. Every project we build is going to be completely responsive for all devices. So the second project will be a theme for selling a book or, or a product. Uh, all the images and background images are completely free stock images. This theme will also use a, a jQuery plugin for smooth scrolling. And we're also going to use the accordion widget from Bootstrap 4. So the next one will be a blog system admin UI. There's about seven or eight pages, including a login page, a profile page. We'll also be using um, quite a few modals for the ad post, the ad user and ad category buttons that you see here. And as well, you can see it's completely responsive. So project four will be a multi page theme that uses a, a carousel slider with background images. We'll also use a third party component called Slick Slider for the testimonial area and we'll be using a light box component for a mini photo gallery. The last project will be a portfolio type project. We'll be using Flexbox and we'll use the collapse widget for page navigation as well as progress bars and some other UI components. All right, so that's what this course is all about. Like I said, if you want to skip the basic learning sections and go right to the awesome projects, that's fine. Either way, I think you're going to love this course and I know you're going to learn a lot from it and you're going to be able to build your own themes and UIs using Bootstrap 4.